I'm Lawrence Edwards from Black Mountain Honey. Today we're going to show you how to make the best roast potatoes in the world. So, first thing to say when you're making roast potatoes is the type of potato you get is very, very important. Don't just go for a standard white potato. There's loads of different varieties of potato. You need to get the correct one for making a roast potato. The whole idea behind making good quality roast potatoes is you want a fluffy potato. So my favourites are uh, a Maris Piper or a King Edward. If you get those potatoes, you can't go wrong. Um, doesn't matter where you get them from, so Aldi, Lidl, Marks and Spencers, whatever. Make sure you get in a Maris Piper or a King Edward. If I had to choose between the two, I'd probably go with the King Ed Edward. Um, I also like one that's called a Wilger potato. They're really, really nice as well, but they're probably a little bit better for chips. Um, so first thing you do is obviously you start to peel the potatoes. And I just kind of talked to you as I'm peeling the potatoes about a few other things. So the, the important thing when you're making roast potatoes is you need to make sure that they are dry. So it seems a bit of a strange thing to say. So I mean, the, the method behind it is obviously you peel the potatoes, you chop them down to size, making sure they're kind of all a real even size, um, making sure they're not too small, but they're not too large. I'll show you roughly the kind of size you're looking for. Um, and then you boil them in really, really well salted water for maybe about five minutes. The idea of that parboiling is to soften all of the outer edges up. You're not looking to cook the potato at this stage. You definitely don't want to overcook it because then it makes the next stage quite difficult. Then what you do is you drain those potatoes and you need to get them dry. But before you start the drying stage, what you need to do is you need to crumble them up. So you drain them in a pan, put them back into the pan once all of the water's out of them, put a lid on top and then you kind of shake them up like that. So I think that's kind of like a well-known way of cooking potatoes. Um, the key thing to do after that though, and we'll come to it in this video, is you need to leave them to dry. And when I say leave them to dry, I mean leave them for like an hour to dry. You'll see all the steam coming off them when you're cooking potatoes, I mean you parboil them. You shake them up, you put them in a pan or you put them on a tray and you see the steam comes off them. You need to leave them there in a cool, dry place until all of that steam has stopped. And that's how you get a good roast potato. It's that kind of waiting to make sure that it's nice and dry is what gives you that really nice, crispy, crunchy potato. Um, so then my method, what I do after that um, so I, I peel my potatoes, I chop my potatoes, I parboil them, I fluff them up, I leave them to dry, and then I get a pan of oil, and I like to use a good quality olive oil for this. I think olive oil in potatoes is really, really nice. I heat the pan of olive oil up, and then I pour that over the potatoes while they're sitting on the tray, and that initial kind of hot oil where it meets the dry potato kickstarts this kind of crunching process, and that's how you get a good potato and then they go straight into a preheated oven um, and they cook for kind of like about 35 or 40 minutes or until they're done. And you make sure that you kind of give them a shake every now and again, just to make sure that the oil is getting onto all the stages. And that's it, that's the method that we're gonna use. So I'll fast forward now, get all these potatoes prepped and I'll move on to the next stage. So once you've peeled all your potatoes, you want to chop them up and get them kind of all into a very similar size. That is about the size that you want. Um, not too big, not too small, maybe about the size of a, a large golf ball. You don't need to be too precious with this, but you know I mean? you, don't want, you don't want a whole potato size like that. It can be really, really difficult to get the good crispy crumb and get the center of it cooked at the same time. And equally, you don't want it too small. So if you've got any potatoes like that, you can chuck them in, but they're gonna be a little bit overcooked. So like I said, you don't need to be too fussed with it, but you just don't want them too big, don't want them too small. You want them all roughly the same size, about the same size as a golf ball. So then when you come to put the water in, you need to be aware of what you're doing at the next stage. And the next stage, you're trying to reduce down the water content as much as you possibly can. So at this point, don't use like a full thing of water. You literally just want to submerge them, just, and if a couple of them are popping through, that's fine. If you put more water in at this stage, it just takes a bit longer to dry them. So you kind of just use the right amount of water. So boiling water goes in. 
just until they're all submerged. And then a good amount of salt. Really, really good. Give it a kind of good few shakes in there. This is the good time to kind of season your potatoes. You don't really want to season them at the end. You give a little shake at the end. This is where you'll get the good kind of salty flavor into them. So get them on, parboil them for about five minutes. So then while they're parboiling, get your pan ready. You want a nice, thick, sturdy pan, obviously completely clean, um, and get that ready. What you're gonna do is you're gonna cook your potatoes, you're gonna drain them, shake them up, give them a good fluffing, and then you're gonna rest them directly onto this pan. And this is where they're gonna dry. And you're gonna, let, uh, you're gonna wait and see all of that steam to completely evaporate. And you're gonna get left with nice, dry potatoes. Like I say, probably takes about 45 minutes to an hour, but it's really, really worth doing it. It actually makes kind of making a roast dinner a lot easier because you can kind of put that work in at an earlier stage and you're not doing all of the work at the last minute. Um, so we'll let the potatoes parboil and then we'll come back to the video. So once you've given your potato five minutes as a parboil, drain them in the colander, put them back in the same pan that you've cooked them in. So really important at this point, make sure you drain them properly. Don't let any residual water go in the pan. You can give them like a couple of minutes in the sink if you want to. Um, the important thing is though, you need to fluff them up while they're warm. You can't fluff them up while they're cold. So just give them a good shake, get all the water off, get them back in the pan with no residual water and move on to the fluffing. So I don't have any lids for this pan, so I just use a plate. Make sure you've got kind of hand protection though, so I just use a couple of oven gloves because it is hot. So you just want to give it a good shake. Be quite aggressive at this stage, like really kind of get them around and give them a good fluff. Take the plate away. So then that is what you're looking for. Really, really nice fluffed potatoes. And then this is where my method gets a little bit different. So, take them out and then you want to rest them onto your baking tray like that. And if you've got the parboiling right at the right time, you'll have a relatively clean pan. If you parboil too long, you'll have loads of mush in here and you don't want that mush getting onto your pan because it stops the crisping process. So like I say, five minutes max, maybe, maybe about four minutes I use there. Um, just so the edges of the potatoes are just starting to break away and you can get that fluff effect. So then break up all the potatoes so they're not touching each other and if you can feel it, they're sticky, which is what you want. And you can see that steam rising off them now. Now the mistake a lot of people make, and I've seen people do this all the time, is these go straight into the oven now. So they'll put their oil on, or they'll kind of put this into an oil tray and then they'll go into the oven. So that's the big mistake that people make when they're making roast potatoes. You need to make sure they're dry before they go into the oven. So you can literally leave them here kind of for like a few hours now if you want. You just need to make sure that all of that steam is completely gone and then we can move on to the next step. But like I say, minimum about 45 minutes and you're in the right kind of ballpark territory. So then when your potatoes are very, very nearly dry, you can just see the last kind of few wisps of steam coming off it now. I'm gonna take the pan. Take some good quality kind of extra virgin olive oil. Doesn't need to be an expensive one, but make sure it is extra virgin. And then you want to put that in the pan and you want like a good amount in there. You can't really use too much oil here um, because the, the remnants of the oil will just sit in the pan. What I do is halfway through the cooking time, I drain off any excess oil, but you want a good amount in there at first just to make sure that the potatoes are fully covered. So you want to use about 75 ml of extra virgin olive oil for this stage. And then you want to take the pan and heat that up on the stove. So you want to get that to a point where it's basically at smoking point. Um, you don't want to burn the oil, but you want to get it to as hot as it can possibly be without burning it. So bring it up to kind of like about 200, 250 degrees C. Um, and then we're going to take that oil and we're going to pour it directly on the potatoes. Now don't do this stage until your oven is at full temperature. I start the oven off once I've kind of started fluffing the potatoes, build it up to get it a really, really high heat. Almost works a little bit like a Yorkshire pudding, you know, you need to get it in at that high temperature because um, effectively what you're doing is making large chips in an oven. Um, so you need the hot oil, you need the hot temperature of the oven, um, and then you should come out with a really, really good end product. So heat the oil up and then we're gonna pour that on the potatoes. As you can see now, all of the steam is completely finished coming off these potatoes. 
the moisture content's gone right down and that's what's gonna give you the really, really nice crisp roast potatoes. So just summarize the key points again, use the correct potato, Maris Piper or King Edward, making sure that you cut them up into the right size, let them dry thoroughly after you've fluffed them and then you heat the oil in the pan and you apply the oil to the dry potatoes and then they go into a really, really hot oven for about 35 or 40 minutes. We're gonna give them a shake halfway through and we'll drain off any of the excess oil about halfway through and then we just keep an eye on them and make sure they don't burn. So you can see the oil there, it started to smoke only very, very lightly. It goes quickly, so keep an eye on it. And then what we're doing is we're pouring this scorching hot oil onto the dry potatoes and listen for the crackle. You can do this potato by potato just to make sure each one's fully covered. And like I say, you hear that crackle and that's what's gonna give you the crisp skin on the potato. Doesn't matter if there's a pool of oil at the bottom, we're gonna remove a lot of that at the end. There we go. So you can take your tea towel, top of the oven, about 35 or 40 minutes. We're gonna check it after 20 minutes. So after about 20 minutes, you wanna get the potatoes out, try and close the door as quickly as you can to keep the heat in the oven. And we're gonna drain off the excess oil. And this is a really important step because otherwise they can become a little bit oily. Um, and you don't wanna kind of skimp on the oil at the beginning because then you're not gonna get that round crispness all the way around them. Um, so we'll take, Take it out, keep the door closed as quickly as possible, drain off the excess oil, give them a shake in case they're stuck anywhere and they can go straight back in the oven. So as you can see there, they're crisping up really, really nicely, but there's a lot of excess oil, so you just wanna get that off. It helps to crisp them up and it helps to keep them not be too oily at the end. So give them a bit of a shake at this point as well. I hope you can hear they're kind of like really rustly and hard now. So at this point, if they're looking like this, which is really, really good, I kind of just turn them over. Um, the base of it will cook a bit quicker than the top. So get those bases up to the top. And then I'll turn the oven down to about 180 as well. Um, that's just to kind of give it a bit of an even cook. Make sure that the inside of the potatoes is gonna be cooked by the side so the inside of the potato is gonna be cooked by the time the outside is fully crisped up. Make sure they're all separate again so you can get adequate kind of airflow throughout them. And then another important thing to say, which I didn't mention earlier, is make sure that you don't overcrowd this pan. If you do overcrowd the pan, you're not gonna get the good potatoes. You need to get that airflow around them. It's all about driving the moisture out and then getting that good airflow with the heat which gives you this really nice kind of crispy effect. So these aren't far away from being done, probably about 10 more minutes. Like I say, they're looking good on the outside. You just wanna turn that temperature down a little bit now, make sure they're cooked all the way through, and then you've got your perfect roast potatoes. So then after a final 10 minutes, this is what you end up with. So that's it, I love that sound. I love roast potatoes, they're one of my favorite foods. Don't have them all the time, they're quite unhealthy. Um, but this is what you're looking for at the end. You're looking for that sound, really crunchy, not greasy, a nice, good, even colour all over, really, really kind of crunchy to the touch. When you pull them open, you get a nice, soft, fluffy in the middle like that. It's really hot. Um, and that's it. You don't want them burnt. Um, you don't want them undercooked. Um, you just want them just right like that. So I mean, a few really, really easy steps to follow there. Peel your potatoes, chop them to size, a bit bigger than a golf ball. Boil them in salted water. Make sure you don't use too much water. Drain them after kind of three or four minutes. Fluff them in a pan. Put them onto your tray that you're gonna cook them on. Let them steam dry till there's no steam left, maybe about 30 or 40 minutes. Pour the really hot oil over the potatoes put them in the oven, halfway through, drain off that excess oil, turn the temperature down to make sure that it's cooked all the way through, and then you'll end up with really, really perfect roast spuds just like that. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Really simple one for me to do. I make roast potatoes all the time. I know I make a pretty decent roast potato, so good one to share with people, and uh, you can kind of share that with other people as well, and you can start to make really, really nice roast potatoes yourself. 
So that's it for the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any specific recipes that you want me to kind of do a video on, just let me know and I'll do my best to kind of accommodate that. Um, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the bell so you're notified of every video and I'll see you next time. I'm off to enjoy our roast dinner. <laughs>